models, it's Nawe. In this video, I'll show you how to attach 3D hair to your Vroid model. But first, you'll need a base model. To do that, just go to Booth and find some assets. Go to Categories, select 3D models and subcategory Vroid and just drag the slider to zero to find free stuff. And then to filter the search results, just click on top right and then new items and here you can find all the latest creations these are all the things that i found um eyeliner irises and some skin texture this is a free one and jacket it's also free you can check the creator for more there's pants and boots And this one is a free 3D hair. I downloaded all of them. And then make sure you extract all of them into a folder if they are in a zip file or RAR. I just uh, put it in a folder called Hihi. As long as it's in a folder. Then click launch on Vroid Studio. Create new click female if you're creating a girl and then if you're importing Vroid custom item you can technically click on anything as long as it has the import button and then click the file and you can wear it you can use it for skins uh, jackets as if the creator provides it but for PNG you need to create on custom create new edit texture then right click that default texture and import the new PNG that's all after you're done, you can just adjust your model, your, the head size, the head width, the eye shape, and then that's exported by clicking on the top right, like the share button, and then untick the transfer meshes, and then click export. And now let's do our blend shapes in HANA tool or HANA app. In HANA app, you, can, you don't have to open Unity, you can just click on the middle, and then select your model. And then wait for it to load and then just click on the bottom left to select the gender of your um, model I'll uh, just select female and then select clip once you select clip it's already created then click back and you can just save it I usually just use the default settings there's not much to change only the smile smile up smile right and smile left should be reduced a little but other than that it's fine Alright, after it says like log, that means it's saved already. So now it's time to install Unity. So I provided for you two files to install. The first one is the Unity Hub, which is a place to organize your projects and then install the version of Unity, which is uh, 2021.3 and above. And then after you're done, you can open it and then drag the UniVRM into the Unity and click import. And then wait for it to load and then import another uh, thing which is the spring bone generator and just click import and if any anything comes up just click on yes if anything comes up I just like this one and if, wait for it to load it's a lot of waiting when it comes to unity all right it's done when you're dragging, just drag it into the empty space of the asset. Now you have to drag your model. Make sure it's the one with the blend shape on, which is named as underscore PS, if I'm not mistaken. Just drag it into the empty gray space of the asset and wait for it to load. And then make sure to drag also your 3D hair. It's usually in Unity, Unity project. And just drag that one. Or FBX, it's either of that. Alright. And then make sure you also import the texture, like which color that you like of the hair. And I want to pick the blind one, so I just drag that into the gray area. And now everything is imported. Now I drag my character into the middle, like that. And then I just position it to 0, 0, 0 on the X, Y, Z coordinates. Just make sure it's like in the center. It's, I do that so it's easier to or to find the things in there. So just put everything on zero, 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 so everything is in the center. 
So I already put my hair there, but it's uh, it doesn't have texture. So I just right click in the empty area, create and click material. And then just select the shader as a VRM and M2. Okay, and then you have to drag the texture into the small square thing. Just drag it on both, that's all. Yeah. And then now the circle thing is already filled with the texture. Now you just have to drag. Uh, just position you have first, just press W to position it. R3 size and this is up to you how you want to position the hair so I took a bit of a time here I can I also adjusted the values if I don't want to manually use my mouse to drag it because the, the slider is down, down there and I can't see it so I just use a number thing So there's a lot of checking and fixing. All right, now I'm satisfied. After I'm satisfied, I just drag the material onto my 3D hair, onto the 3D hair. The material is the, the ball thing. Just drag it onto it and release it, that's all. And it's done. But now I realize that some of the hair is like clipping through the, some of the skin clipping through. So I just erase it in some, web app pixlr editor and then just save it and then put it back into unity so that erase part won't show up if you look closely there's like a clipping skin there so i just erase it and replace it onto the material thing when i say material it's the ball that's all okay and then i find the material it's usually in the folders on the left side you can uh, see the name of the model and then dot materials and then I drag the new erased skin onto it and then it's done it's erased right now I just have to drag the hair onto my head let's open the folders until we can find head Once I found it, I just select my hair and drag it onto head and just release it. And it's done. It's already attached. Now let us add the the spring bones, the one that does the bouncy thing. So just click on the VRM tool and then click on auto detect. And then uh, click unpack prefab and then finally click on the optimal settings load optimal settings and then create the VRM spring bolt so it will automatically create the bouncy thing on the hair so if you notice there's a problem here because the hair might not was not made well probably I don't know but to fix this you just have to find the VRM spring bone thing and then look up at the right and adjust the size. So I noticed that's a problem so I just changed the size to 0.001. So I did some more adjustment because I noticed the hair was going up so I add some gravity to the hair. All of these settings are adjusted in the VRM, the, the spring bone thing, the spring bone settings. Like I said, I'm not really good at Unity, I just use it to edit my model. I don't know anything beyond that, I don't know any of these terms, but as long as it works. So if you want to test your model, you can just click on the play button and then click on the scene. So instead of on the game tab, click on the scene. There you can like click on VRM tool and then click on walk and you can see your model walking and test the bouncing thingy so here I just adjust the shady thing uh, and I realized I don't like the color of the hair so I changed it to change just drag the new texture and then I export and make sure you put the version of your model and then I export it to my hehe <laughs> folder and it's finally the time to test it Okay, I open VC face and then add avatar and click on my model. 
the one that we created together and then start and then I connect it to my iFacial mocap on my iPad if you have an iPhone you can use iPhone uh, unfortunately the app is on iOS but if you want to use on desktop there is but you have to download Nvidia broadcast and use webcam to do that and it's quite heavy the, uh, unless you have a good a very strong processor then then you can use the Nvidia broadcast to do iFacial mocap stuff so here I'm I already tested the the model and it seems to work fine. Everything is bouncing well. So keep in mind this is only like made half as like I didn't put much effort into it. Imagine if you buy the assets and put a lot of time to adjust your model, it will be it will look great. So uh, feel free to check on booth and find the assets that you love and have fun attaching anything to your model. Okay, see you next time. I hope this video benefits you. Bye-bye.